Jesus is the answer for the world today. Good morning and welcome to Christian Pentecostal Church's devotional moment. I'm Pastor Brenda Bird. First, I want to say happy, blessed Thanksgiving to you and your family from me and my family. Will you turn with me to Psalms 34? And while you're going there, let's open in prayer. Lord God, we give you thanks on this wonderful day. We thank you, O God, for waking us up this morning. We thank you this morning for family, Lord God. We thank you this morning for your word, O God. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for your keeping power. We thank you for the healings that you have given us throughout the year. We thank you for your faithfulness. And Lord, though 2020 has been a trying year for all of us, we thank you, O God, that you have walked with us every step of the way. And O God, as we go into your word today, I pray, O God, that you would touch and encourage every listening ear and every, ear and every receptive heart. Father God, may you breathe upon your servant as I bring forth your word. For your word is blessed and rich, and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to be reading out of Psalms 34, and it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continuously be in my mouth. My soul shall make his boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I will bless the Lord at all times. We are a blessed people. No matter how difficult things have been for us throughout this pandemic, throughout this year, and everything that is going on around us that has been shaken, we are a blessed people. We are to give God praise and we are to give God thanks in all things because it can always be harder for us and worse. And I know many have lost loved ones who have transitioned from labor to reward. Many have lost their jobs. Many have been struggling in just so many areas. So many, so many people have lost their peace and going through anxiety and fear. But I want to encourage your heart today that the Lord tells us in Psalms 23, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. When you're going through hard times, when you're struggling and anxiety and all these things are attacking you, the Lord tells us what to do. He says, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Go into the word of God and let God comfort you and encourage your heart. I tell you, nothing, nothing, nothing and nobody can replace the relationship that you and I are blessed to have with God Almighty. We should be thankful for the precious blood of Jesus because God so loved us that he sent his son. And because Jesus came and died for our sins, we can have a relationship with him. He has redeemed our life. He has redeemed us from the curse of sin and death and has given us eternal life. You know, the disciples was go came back that Jesus has sent out to minister to the people. And they were so excited because they saw so many wonderful miracles and they cast out demons and oh, the power of God, the anointing of God was just flowing through them. And having the experience myself of going out and sharing Christ with others and telling people about Jesus and seeing God touch their lives and heal their lives, is no joy like it. You come back so excited when a person come to Christ. You, you come back so excited when you have prayed for someone and they share with you how God has blessed them that very moment and healed them. It's such so exciting. But Jesus said to the disciples, he says, don't be so concerned or so elated that the demons are subject to you, but be excited and elated that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Are your name written in the Lamb's book of life today? Oh, well, you got a whole lot to be thankful for because the Bible tells us that this life is going to be over. It's going to be over. And it's only what we do for Christ will last. We have eternal life. 
And we should be thankful that the blood of Jesus has cleansed us, that the Father has forgiven us and redeemed us and allow us to enjoy a little snippet of his loving presence. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continuously be in my mouth. No matter what the circumstances is, no matter what the situation is, I will bless the Lord at all times. The next verse too says, my soul shall make its boasts in the Lord. What are you boastful about today? You know, many people are boastful because they, they have money or they are boastful because they have uh, the perfect marriage. They are boastful because they have uh, uh, well-adjusted and smart children. They have the good job and the fine cars and all of these things. But my boast is in the Lord. My boast is in the fact that God looked upon me a sinner and saved me, changed my life transformed my mind, gave me a new way of walking, a new way of talking. I got joy, joy, joy down in my soul. Hallelujah. I have a joy that the world can't give and things can't give and people can't give, nor can they take it away. Oh, to God be the glory. Bless the Lord at all times, saints. Let his praise continuously be in your mouth. Let your boast be in the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. He has provided for us. He heals our body. He cleanses us and he forgives us. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let your soul be boastful in God. The Lord just dropped this psalm in my spirit. And we're going back to the psalm that we were reading. But I just want to read this one. Psalms 103, hallelujah. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, hallelujah. Praise our God. Psalms 103 says, bless the Lord, O my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. God has given us a lot of benefits, and we got a lot of reasons, and we have a lot of reasons to be thankful on this beautiful day. One of the benefits is he forgives all our iniquities. Hallelujah. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Have you been washed in the blood of the Lamb? Have you trusted in him this very hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Hallelujah. That's a reason to be thankful that I have been washed in the blood and all of my iniquities have been forgiven. He has healed all my diseases. Hallelujah. Whether it's physical diseases, the Bible tells us that he was wounded for our transgressions and he was bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. But that also tells us that he heals all our diseases. What is troubling you today? What is making you uneasy today? Well, he heals all my diseases. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Be thankful that no matter whether the disease is a physical disease or it's a dis-ease, a displeasure, a discomfort. Hallelujah. A lack of peace of mind. Hallelujah. He heals all my diseases. Thank you, Lord, who redeems your life from destruction. The Bible tells us that we were slain in our trespasses and sin. Hallelujah. That it tells us that we were snared by our sin. Hallelujah. But God redeemed us. Redemption goes with the word ransom. Hallelujah. There was a bounty on our head. Hallelujah. Satan owned us because we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. But the blood of Jesus redeemed us. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus was given as a ransom. Hallelujah. Given as a reward to buy us back. He redeemed us. Hallelujah. From destruction and gave us life. And with this life that he has given us, eternal life, but also he has given us life in the land of the living. Yes, I want to see Jesus. Yes, 
I want to go to the sweet by and by. But brothers and sisters, we are living in the nasty now and now. And God wants us to enjoy this life in the land of the living. He wants us to enjoy our families. He wants us to enjoy the beautiful world that he has created for us. I know through all the things man has just about damaged this world. But it's so many beautiful things. You know, someone said before, have you stopped to smell the roses? When you look around at God's creation, you can see his beauty. You can see his love. And remember that he created all of these things. And then he created man and placed him in that garden. Have you ever stopped and looked at the variety of beautiful birds? Oh, it's just awestruck to see the beautiful colors. I mean, there is no artist like God. He makes all things beautiful in his time. And you know, when we walk with a thankful heart, when we bless the Lord at all times, in good times and in bad times, when we are grateful and we are thankful, don't you know it does something to our psychic? It does something good and healthy to our mind and to our soul and to our spirit. It uplifts us. You know, many people walk around with the world on their shoulder, down and depressed and angry and, 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 and spiteful and negative. That is not God's plan for our lives. He wants us to walk with joy. He wants us to walk with peace. He wants us to be satisfied with what he has blessed us with. He wants us to pursue more because he has so much more for us. And we get stuck in the things that really doesn't matter. Does it matter whether you have four coats or you have one? Does it matter that you have a, a caviar or you have beans and bread in a nice cold glass of water? It's all how you look at life. And you know, I'm the type of person, I try to keep an upbeat spirit. You know, I love to laugh. I love to love. I love to encourage. And I just don't like negative atmosphere. I don't like, uh, you know, someone said, you know who you are by the five people that you spend the most time with. And so I like to be around encouragers. I like to be around people who have a purpose and a plan. I like to be around people who love God. I don't like to be, I make, I separate myself from people that are bitter, that are angry, that are judgmental, that are selfish, that are prideful, because that's not my personality. And I know that's not what God wants for me. And that is not what he wants for you. And so I want to encourage you today to live with a heart of thanksgiving. Speak praises and blessings unto the Lord. The Bible tells us how we are to keep our joy. The Bible tells us how we are to stay thankful. He says, think on good things. When you think about your loved one, when you think about your brother or your sister, do you think about all of their dysfunctions? Do you think about all of their negative uh, personality and behavior? Well, the Lord tells us to think on good things. We ought to look at Jesus Christ in everyone that we know, especially our brothers and sisters in the faith. We ought to see hope. We ought to see encouragement in their lives. And we ought to pray for one another that we may be healed. I thank the Lord today for every one of my brothers and sisters in Christ. I love you all. I thank the Lord for my family, for my children, for my grandchildren, that he has blessed me and restored my health, that I can be healthy, enjoy my family. I thank the Lord for my church. I thank the Lord for the ministry that he has blessed me to serve him in. And I thank God for those who are listening today, that the Lord will bless you and encourage your heart it's so much, I always say, it's a whole lot of living to do. And it is. Hallelujah. God heals our diseases. He has redeemed our life from destruction. And he crowns you with loving kindness. 
God is kind to us. He is loving to us. And he crowns us with loving kindness. And then on top of the loving kindness, tender mercies. Hallelujah. The Lord says, if we want to receive mercy, we must give mercy. The Bible tells us that we reap what we sow. And many times people look at that as a negative. Oh, you're reaping, you're sowing bad seeds, you're going to reap a, a bad harvest. And in some states, that, that's true too, because you sowing and reaping is a law, just like gravity is a law. However, when you sow good, when you show sow love, when you sow kindness, when you sow mercy, God says those things will come back to you. And I'm a firm believe I'm a firm believer of that. But if you sow bitterness, if you sow anger, if you sow negative thoughts and feelings towards others, you will receive that back too. So the Bible tells us also, if you want a friend, you must first be friendly. And so I, I pray today that the Lord will teach us how to bless him and worship him, not just with the fruit of our lips, but with our conduct, how we treat one another, how we love one another, how we uh, uh, show mercy to one another. This is what God wants for his children. Verse five of this same verse says, this chapter says, who satisfies your mouth with good things. What are you saying? What are you thinking? Hallelujah. So that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Laughter is good for the soul. Joy is good for the heart. Peace is good for the mind. Love is good for the soul. Hallelujah. Let's go back and finish out of Psalm 34. And so it says in three, O magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Four says, I sought the Lord and he heard me. This is why we should be thankful. This is why we should be joyous because our God is alive. Hallelujah. He hears us. And when we seek him, he delivers us from all of our fears. What are you fearful about today? I just want to encourage your heart where the Lord says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will help you and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Fear not. Five says they looked to him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. When you look into the heart of our Lord, when you look into his word and you read his word and what he says about you and how he loves you and how he uh, desires to fellowship with you and be with you, it's a radiance, it's an anointing, it's a joy, it's a shining of the soul from the inside out, from the inner man out that just glows through you. It's because Jesus is on the inside, shining on the outside. Amen. Hallelujah. He's on the inside, shining on the outside. Six says, this poor man, and in my case, woman, cried out and the Lord heard him or her and saved them out of all their troubles. He's a saving God. He's a redeeming God. And we're so thankful tonight. Oh, today, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man or woman who trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. That's reverence, esteem and exalt him. And there is no want to those who fear him reverence and exalt him and i want to close with this verse hallelujah bless your name verse 12 says who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may see good that's me hallelujah 
and I know that's you. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good and seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. But the righteous cry out and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their trouble. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as have a contrite spirit. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. Happy, blessed Thanksgiving to you. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he lift up his countenance upon you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Have a blessed day. I love you with the love of Jesus. God bless you.